In this video, I'll show you three examples on how to factor a sum or difference of cubes. The first question reads, factor x to the power of 3 plus 27. The first thing that you have to do is test whether these two terms are perfect cubes. So let's start with x to the power of 3 and cube root that. The cube root of x to the power of 3 is simply x. Therefore, this term is a perfect cube. The 27, if we cube root that, we end up with 3. So this is also a perfect cube. Since both terms pass the cube root test, we can now go ahead and replace these terms into one of these templates. The two templates that we can use is the sum of two cubes or the difference of two cubes. Since these two terms are being summed up, we will use this version. So the next thing that I'll do is assign this term as my a and this term as my b. And for a sum of cubes, it doesn't matter which of the two terms you assign as your a or your b. In the end, you end up with the same answer. That being said, my a is x plus my b, which is 3. Open the other bracket. a to the power of 2, that's like saying x to the power of 2, minus a times b, 3x, plus b squared, in our case is 9 because 3 to the power of 2 is 9. This represents the factored version of the sum of these two cubes. Let's move on to question 2. In question 2, we're expected to factor 108 minus 32x to the power of 3. Once again, we will test to see if these are two cubes. Starting with 108, I'll use my calculator for this. The cube root of 108 is not a perfect cube, apparently. And similarly, the cube root of 32 is also not a perfect cube. So what you have to do in a situation like this is see if you can common factor anything from both of these terms. And it turns out that you can common factor something. In fact, if I factor out a 4 from both of these terms, I end up with 27 minus 8x to the power of 3. Now let's do the test to see if 27 and 8 are perfect cubes. Starting with 27 cube root of 27, as discovered in the previous question, is equal to 3. And the cube root of 8x to the power of 3 is 2x. So now both of these terms are perfect cubes. And because of that, and because they're both being subtracted, I will use this template. So I'll assign the 2x as my b, and the 3 as my a. Notice that the b is the one that gets the negative. So let's go ahead and substitute everything into this template. We have a minus b, so 3 minus 2x. And of course, don't forget this 4 at the very end. So I'll put a square bracket out here. Let's continue. a to the power of 2, it's like saying 9, plus a times b, so 6x. And lastly, b to the power of 2, that's like saying 2x to the power of 2, which is 4x squared. Close the square bracket, and this is the final answer for question 2. Finally, in question 3, we're expected to factor 8x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3 over 27. Let's start by seeing if these terms are perfect cubes. 8x to the power of 3. If we cube root that, we end up with 2x, and that's evident from the previous question as well. So that is a perfect cube. How about y to the power of 3 over 27? I'm going to cube root this. This means that the term at the top and the term at the bottom also become cube rooted. Cube rooting y to the power of 3 gives us y, and cube rooting 27 gives us 3. So this expression passes the test, and since they are being subtracted, I'll use this template once again. So for question 3, using the template as before, and I'll call this my a, and I'll call this my b. The reason why I'm calling this my b is because that is the negative term. Remember the template looks like this, where I have a minus b, 2x minus y over 3 times, remember the template, a to the power of 2, which is 4x squared. Remember this is your a and this is your b. a times b, the answer to that is plus 2xy over 3, 
And lastly, b to the power of 2 is negative y squared over 9. This expression is the factored version of the difference of these two cubes. And there you have it, three examples on how to factor a sum or difference of cubes.